Hello and welcome my friends, it's final time for playoffs, now we're facing Hangwa Life. Well, 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 that's an opponent that clapped our cheeks a couple of weeks ago. T1, I mean we're a bit, uh, yeah, we're in a bit of a struggling situation coming into this playoffs race, but uh, let's not worry, let's not worry. T1, full of confidence, we go in it, we're going to smash them, 3-0, they won't know what hit them, T1 in best of fives. Um, usually we're quite good in that, so uh, let's show them, uh, let's give them a run for their money. Let's go into game number one, draft so far looks uh, interesting, let's see what more our boys cook for us. Okay, okay, respectable chanting, clap, clap, clap. Let's take a look at the draft. Again, Zeus with the TF in top lane, something that we've seen more and more of. Uh, not too sure if I like it too much, right? We'll have to see what uh, Hunger Life here has, right? Because do you have an answer for Rapid Fire Gold card? Yes or no? So far, this looks like a maybe, honestly. Owner here playing the Rel Jungle, something that will be uh, yeah out of the game in the next patch. Faker, Gumak area on trusted champions. We're scaling. We have some team fighting. We'll have to worry maybe a bit about our frontline, but uh, we have a lot of pick. We have a lot of range. Let's hope that that's enough for this. Also, a hyper scaling comp on Hunger Life side. So that's at least uh, yeah something to look forward to. Both sides uh, are ready to scale up, and uh, yeah, that should also be quite favorable for us, right? T1. Uh, like, they're really fucking good, but uh, yeah, usually it happens that they draft themselves into situations where they have to be hyperactive. Sure, T1 has the best early game uh, in the world probably, at least in the LCK. So uh, yeah, that's usually not something that we need to worry about. But then hammering this lead down into a win, especially in the modern League of Legends game, uh, is uh, a bit hard. And uh, yeah, paired with some confusion led to some issues, you know it, you have seen it. Um, so us drafting for late game, having the insurance of Faker and Guma here scaling nicely is uh, quite lovely here, Carrier. Uh, we'll notice that trading <laughs> versus a Nautilus as a Thresh in the early game is uh, not a happy uh, happy thing here. Obviously the Senna Nautilus, quite powerful lane, paired up with, uh, I mean, Zekka's Azir. It has gotten better, but like it's not his strongest pick. Faker here getting uh, yeah, harassed a bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, still this matchup decently favored for the Koki. Yeah, we have we have seen it. Zeka though with the two out of three wins. That's surprising. Maybe we need to readjust our mindset of uh, this champion. Nicely done. Force the flash right as the potential to uh, yeah whatever. Faker, uh, I think it was 20 games now undefeated on the Koki. Yeah, so many good things. Uh, yeah, for us here with the pick ban. Owners, Rel, I mean Rel in general, pretty good champion. There's a reason why the, the Riot gamers uh, want it gone. So uh, yeah, looks good, looks good so far, right? Uh, Hangwa Life also, right? Well, we have really good early games. They, they don't have the worst one, but comparatively, it's not as good, right? They lost the early game versus Guangdong Freaks. No disrespect, no disrespect, but uh, yeah, that says something for itself. Uh, with all due respect, I don't really expect uh, like a five game series here uh, in this one. Sadly, I uh, yeah wasn't really available yesterday to uh, to react to the uh, Genji DK Fiesta. It was a treat. Um, yeah, sadly we missed out on that one. Uh, I'm planning to maybe at some point start with uh, like live reactions um, to these T1 games uh, as I am uh, yeah. Small little guy, uh, yeah. I don't have any rights though for live streaming or live viewing, so I'll have to figure something out. But uh, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, no, we'll do a mini cut and then go to some action. That's I think what we'll do. So, uh, yeah, action now. Good junglers meeting here. Owner is level up, but uh, yeah, that's the first blood potentially coming in. Owner has a yeah, good Q, but uh, yeah, with Doran's ult invested, that's that. So first blood uh, with the flash invested, gained. Also means three grubbies here. Faker rushing down mid lane with the package, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see how he can use that. Obviously bot lane uh, might always be an angle, but if uh, yeah, Viper is roaming around, then that is also not the freest or easiest target. Right, I mean, just the Nautilus. Hmm? Well, 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 okay, that's... Uh, they're rough, but uh, we'll get, we'll manage, we'll manage. Okay, it looks like T1 is setting up for a dive. 
four we won situation no all no nothing but uh yeah very disjointed all also comes through that's uh yeah just a bit iffy guma shouldn't be in any rally uh, real danger but fakers losing minions uh we might get both of the last grubby camps so that's at least something but uh yeah they didn't really want to overcommit. maybe they didn't have like full vision but still a bit uh, of a weird uh dive attempt there but i mean the losses are relatively small i guess Um, yeah, is that the moment where we have to panic? O2 down now? Um, we are still ahead in gold, right? I mean, Zeus and Guma are doing their best farming. Uh, but uh, owner and faker getting caught here and there. Far owner with the suicide dive, potentially. Hex flash goes in. There's the smite Q. I think it's the Q, right? And he gets away as well. Carrier the hero with the save. Okay, so at least equalizing the drakes now. That's at least something to look forward to. Let's turn our eyes away. Ay, 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 these graphic bugs like that they're still not fixed. In Faker doing some work here. Maybe with owner they can orchestrate a dive. That's the first line of CC. Uh, what was that? Why was owner bounced back? What? Okay, I don't think the flash was needed. Oh, oh, with the gold card he comes in, secures the kill. Pretty impressive. Harold didn't uh, got the turret right, but uh, didn't look like it got uh, charged into the. It wasn't even used. What? I mean, I'm paying attention, you guys. Okay, so that's uh, two turrets for one and a kill. Make sure they can nerf jungle rel, right? Uh, it's decently strong. I would still not do it. I would just argue, okay, buff maybe other junglers. Uh, or maybe at least nerf the damage on the... Uh, I think, again, it's the Q, right? The shattering uh, strike, I think it's called. Uh, that would be more reasonable. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't might steal rel. Faker... Decent old, right? Viper is like nearly dead already. That's a nice hook by Carrier. Oh, the backline being accessed, Guma. I mean, there's very little protection for him, but uh, oh, nice old and stun card. CC chained the Zeka and uh, yeah, Faker with the flash to the side. Yeah, uh, it's not an ace, but it's close to it. Uh, sadly, I think it's not. Uh, yeah, not the best timing for it, right? 1850, uh, they will respawn before we can, uh, like, spawn camp uh, the Baron. Oh, they're starting the Baron against this T1 comp? I mean, their turn is pretty good, but you're also, like, risking a smite fight versus Rel? What is Hangwa Life doing? I mean, they're engaging now onto the Rel. Owner is just jumping into the air, but he gets away for a second, I guess. Who connects again, but... Okay, Jinx getting excited. That's the first one. Can we follow up though on this? No. Okay, so far one for two. Hangwa life. What was that? Here we gave up a uh, mid lane control and the and the river. So uh, yeah, Hangwa life just on the objective again. They're behind in gold. We pop the old of uh, our top laner and let's just see. We have a big wombo combo. Jinx gets to auto attack, but then Guma is just in a bouncy castle. Oh god, can Zeus be enough? No, he gets knocked up. Flash ult by Zeka Faker. I mean, he is doing shit tons of damage, but not yet, right? He had to buy... I mean, had is a big word, right? He had to buy the... Uh, uh, what is this? This is called Hex Stranker, right? Stunting his willpath a bit. Also goes with Shoujin second. Quite, uh, quite crazy. But yeah, man, they pulled the triggers. Look at the right side here. Like all kinds of flashes blown, right? They used everything. It's like Guma had no chance, right? He had flash and ghost available. You can flame him all you want. But that guy was just bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Every time his feet were about to hit the floor, another knock up, another form of CC. Bro was CC chained to death. So uh, yeah, that's the, the fight back, the clap back that Hunger Life was looking for with this Baron Force. Uh, that they uh, yeah already tried earlier. Yeah, let's see it. Guma here gets ulted, gets uh, flashed on by Doran, and then that's just that. 
Baker now, can he buy some items? Uh, no. Oh, actually he has, okay, he has the completed maw uh, in his pocket. Baron is at half HP. That's a max rage hook on Zeus. Oh God, he's so low. Can he lifesteal enough? No, he can't. Faker joins the fight with a massive package. Oh my God, look at the health bars melting. But that's also the death of our backline. Oh God, oh God. That's game number one in the bin, no? Faker did everything, but Zeus gets insta blown up. Didn't even notice what happened to Guma. Probably got eviscerated like that. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the big issue, man. Faker tried his best, but geez, man, that's the that's the incredible, like, uh, win streak of our mid lane gold on the champion. Maybe broken. Guma is back in six seconds, though. Maybe we shouldn't give up. Let's not give up. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe now that's actually the counterplay. That's the gold card, that should be a sacrificial delight. Zeus sprinting down, Faker with the TP as well. Zeus gets the stun card, that's a dead Doran as well. Ripperino, mother... Uh, yeah, okay, pings on the top lane turret. There's also soul potentially coming up. But uh, what is... 30 seconds, okay, we one-shot Baron, then we sprint downwards and take the soul as well. Peanut, you are... no. Like, we like you, but no, that's ours. Okay, now let's not, no, 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 let's not recall. Hello, sprint. I mean, maybe we have time. We have time, Baron recalled. Ah, yeah, okay. Now, bam, clap back. Open Nexus. Is it open Nexus? It is, right? Open Nexus, okay. Hi, yeah. But we have now Baron and Soul. Soul, again, doesn't do anything, uh, sadly, unless we actually get into an extended... Uh, like standoff where Faker and Viper or Guma and Zekka, right? All these ranged champions throw their shit at each other. Then helpful, but that's a very unlikely state. Now, let's hope that we have the tools to defend our base, right? I mean, Corky in base defense, that's amazing. Owner in the thick of things, tanking up so much HP. Guma has to run all the way. But uh, yeah, that's our frontline death and I maybe, maybe we just bought a couple more moments, but yeah, sadly, no. Ah, uh, Shiva. Oh, uh, okay. That's frustrating. That's very fucking frustrating. It's like, jeez, man. Like the the ease of execution of a Rexai and Nautilus. Just press R on Jinx and like Guma didn't like wasn't even bounced around and just slaughtered like that in this fight. Right? He just had to sprint all the way back to Narnia. Because, like, he experienced that bouncy castle, like, too many times in this game. Ease of execution just fucks us over. Look at Faker, he did so much damage, and sure, he is a corky. Poke, poke, blah, blah, blah. Bro, this was, like, insane damage coming down from these uh, packages that he found. This did an okay job, right? He kind of lost the game with that one hook hitting him. <sighs> God damn it, man. Okay, now let's go into game number two. Rough loss, but we can... We stand back up and get that, uh, get that return. Okay, uh, so yeah, game number two. If you at first don't succeed, I don't know what, like try something again. Like Zeus Faker with the same champions. Again, they look decently good. Owner with his chested Lee Sin. Guma Kera trying some spice out, but our enemy is there. It is the Zeri again. Let's just hope uh, the most painful uh, last hitting for him. Hi, yeah, Zeri players. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know this comp. Uh, again, we have scaling, we have range. But where's our frontline owner and carrier? Are they enough? Last game they weren't. But at this point, uh, Angua Life, they have even more damage. And a Peanut and a Delight and a Doran. Their backline access this time, not as easy. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's still a rough game, right? If you're just on a, on a carry top laner, uh, yeah, li life is rough. Maybe that's uh, the value of the Renekton. Uh, that we were always all too blind to see. Anyway, let's see some action. Uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully we can make the comeback, right? Please, please. Okay, owner starting the grubbies, but there are a few people around. Three men ganking our jungler. What the hell? First blood for Peanut. Uh, yeah, owner played early game so well with our pushing lanes. But now, what is this? River Nautilus or whatever, man. Nautilus in our jungle counter jungling us. 
And now look at this, Zero Steer tries to like TP away. I mean, he, I guess he gets Doran's Flash, but... Okay, now teleport from the Scion, but yeah. I mean, is that, is that what we really wanted? Okay, another dive attempt. Zeus has the flash. Peanut though will fall down. Also, Doran super low. Come on. No. Okay. Okay, that's a big one. Big one. Punishing the counter jungle. Punishing the dive attempt. Zeus loses both the summoners. But very nice. Getting back some gold. Getting back at least one grubby. Much needed, much needed also for the confidence of our players, right? Okay, Drake here starting, but Carrier moves into the area as is the rest of the T1 lineup. Our items don't look the best, but I mean, so could be said for many others. Owner, man, he's really the boy. He's really the man for this. This looks rough, this looks very rough. No, 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 it's a Zeri moment at nine minutes. Hiya. Like, I don't know. It's just all so rough. I mean, Kara is... I mean, we have a Scion on our team. Again, let's remember that Scion... What does that champion even do? That's a good question. Uh, so let's not talk about that one too deeply. Oh god, oh god. Uh, I guess the TP comes in. Faker with the package. That's decent, but what the... Uh, Come on, no, 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 and there's Zika also coming, what are they doing? Ah. Oh my, 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 man. Uh, the misery. <laughs> T1 is their own enemy. I, uh... Yeah, let's wait till the next objective comes up. 20 seconds for both Harold and the second Drake. Owner here is just being thrown over the wall into the mouth of Viper. He's literally spoon fed the kills. Like, at least Hunger Life is also playing good, so it's not just us being a bit confused, right? Uh, like, I wouldn't even say that we are like hardcore anything. Of course, we aren't, but. Oh, man. Like, enemy team playing good. And T1, I don't know, being a bit experimental at times. I don't know. It's like, it's not that experimental picks or like. Crazy picks are bad, obviously not, I've never said that, but... Again, even even commentator guys that always try to be nice, right? Always try to be motivating and positive. Even they say, what does Sion do? And I ask the same, what does Sion do? Ask Baus, Baus says, Sion has no abilities, he has W and passive, right? W for minion and HP and passive to hit people, right? It's like if the best Scion players don't even play Scion, but just auto attack and like hit hit turrets, then you know the champion like might need a rework or something. We're losing uh, this turret here as well, so we're like down one to two in turrets. Uh, we're trying to do something. Teleport play comes in. Umayushi gets wood flashed. At was the W not up before that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. He's dead. And yeah, that's just more gold into the enemy team again. At least not for Zeri, so that's a positive. Like, the light so far is uh, running this game. I mean, this uh, this Nautilus is just like so ultra effective in all of these games so far that we have seen, right? He's just like, literally, oh, I press ult. Oh, I hook this guy with no mobility. Oh, profit. I'm, I don't even want to belittle him, right? Oh, he pr okay, that's great. He actually used the, uh, the control ward to reveal, I think reveal is the right word, Guma, and then press the R onto him, right? Usually you can't if he's a W. Okay, so that's like, that's actually like extra well done, right? Like Nautilus mechanics, <laughs> R mechanics, but uh, yeah, Nautilus. I mean, again, the mechanics are uh, like a one thing, the, the team fighting, one thing you press old, right? Uh, okay, finally, we get a positive play. Doran here flashes. <laughs> That did not look good. TP into flash into the wall, into ult into the wall, into. Uh, uh, okay, at least Guma gets away. Is it is it is it too too late or too early to panic? What is going on? Carrier has completely lost his mind. I would too if I had to play not uh, Scion for more than 19 minutes. 
and uh, yeah, we are a, a bit lost. Faker buying interesting items on Cocky. I just hate it completely. Like, more is just what the hell. It's like, if you know you're getting to four or five items, okay, yeah, just buy Hex Drinker, buy more. But you're not going to do damage, like, for like years. Like, he, we are 22 minutes. This Cocky is not doing relative damage. Okay, that's the TP, I guess. Okay, owner goes in. Massive kick, but. Uh, so what? So what? Okay, Zekker goes in, also flashed. Can we at least get a kill? Okay, that's the first one. Can we do anything else that's cool or interesting? Well, I guess not really. Are we able or allowed to turn onto the Baron? We'll have to hope, we'll have to hope. Zekker got pretty, pretty schooled there. Peanut, please, man. L let us have this one. Please, man. Like, we're struggling. It's a tough life. Economy, not good. Oh no, this looks like a Zeri moment. She has the ult. I mean, I guess Nautilus gets blown up, right? Please, please, please. No, 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 please, please, please. Okay, no jungler. Zeri gets the first kill, but we get the Baron. TP also used by Zekka. Okay, so let's try to put some cucumber on our faces and relax because we're aging like crazy with these games, man. I mean, whew. Whew, let us breathe. Okay, we get the Baron. We are closing in on the gold graph. Uh, the problem is Lee Sin is getting all the kills. No disrespect, you know how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's Lee Sin. Nice kick here, everything. Nice carry, at least like blocking the hooks. I guess that's a positive, right? He should eat more so that he can cover more of the screen. So more hits, uh, skill shots, whatever are being hit, uh, covered by him. Anyway, so Delight here. He actually even procs the, uh, the Aftershock, but it's not enough. He still dies. And here Zeus, uh, yeah, he will meet Viper. I guess Viper one man old, E as well. Like there's not much you can do, right? A champion from 2010, 2009 for That's just, uh, yeah, uh, a one side massacre. 5 0 Zeri versus our 4 3 1 Lee Sin. Dragon spawning in 30 seconds. We have Baron for one minute more. Uh, but it doesn't look like we can capitalize with this objective, like at all. It is a good influx in gold, right? The basic 1.5k that we get from that the neutral objective is in our pockets, okay? I just... I mean, at least we're getting Zekka, but it costed quite a bit. Can we just immediately translate that into the neutral objective, into the soul point? Or are we going to do something silly? So far, I mean, Daron teleported top. Baker is on his way to match. But yeah, that should just be a free drink, right? Peanut is just looking for his wolf camp. Uh, Faker uh, in trouble here. Flashed. Gets something. Oh man, man, that's just why these little things. It's just ah. Baron coming up in 40 seconds, so that's next objective to play around. Our AD carry is all alone, and that. Yeah, that happens when uh, yeah your mid and top laner try to make a play at the enemy inner turret. Not sure what Faker and owner were hoping for. A play onto Dora at that point in the game is also not the greatest. So like I don't know what the play is. Now we have no vision control because like our effective support is dead. Mid lane turret also set up now by Zekka, so that just helps with mid lane pressure. Just so much more. Guma still dead. I mean, he has the ult, right? Baker with the package, but it's going to be a bit delayed. Luckily, Hunger Life is decently respectful. Faker actually extends the TP into the top side, but there's so much vision. We have no eyes onto the enemy. Oh, ult away by Carrier, popping the Desti yeah, destiny as well so oh, that's so many tools used now we have to commit to the objective right to try to get at least something out of this oh carrier q man that's uh, that's everything that he has our Yu-Gi-Oh player is on the other side faker desperate to use the w okay flash over the wall faker is getting viper oh my god that is c insane so ridiculous this champion i uh, riot games man I just... It all comes back to Zeri again. Like, after all these years, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is now just uh, consequential, right, T1? Uh, they know if they give over Baron at this point. It's just crazy, man. Like, Faker on his undefeated uh, Corky, right? Undefeated for, like, four years or something, right? Uh, since 2020, I think. Guma, all-time undefeated on Senna. But uh, like, what are what are our boys thinking with like these pair-ups, right? 
It's like, like, huh? Like Senna with Lee Sin and Sion only? I mean, it's okay, but it's like, the Twisted Fate, what does he do for the comp besides being okay, right? It's like, yeah, Carrier, it's like, what is this champion doing? Like, oh, he's so tanky. I guess he's tanky, sure, but it's like... This, like, this was just, like, he was tanky, or, like, the, his tankiness was relevant, because, like, Hangwa Life had nothing else to do, right? They can't just ignore him, right? It's like, oh, uh, I mean, I have nothing else to do, right? The minions are dead, the turret is dead. I mean, I want to, like, improve my DPS stats, maybe get a kill, right? Let's hit the Scion, right? If there's really nothing else to do, then Hangwa Life might, uh, like, want to hit Scion. In a real fight, they just ignore that fucker and just get, go for everyone else. Like in the last fight, like Viper E flashed onto Faker, right? They just don't like. There is no threat, right? That's the that's the all-time argument where people complain about tanks dealing damage, right? Tanks need something, damage or tons of CC or both, um, to be a relevant threat in a team fight, right? If Sion runs at you in a team fight like this right now, it's like you would just ignore that guy. And sure, that's because you're a fat and he's not, but. Again, even if it's a, a 10 item Scion, if he's not building like lethality or whatnot, then you just don't care. You just ignore that guy. It's like, ah, oh, maybe, okay, does he charge up his Q? Okay, like maybe I just step one, one step, I guess, to the side and then you're fine, right? It's like, obviously this is a bit hyperbole, but I mean, I assume you guys know how I talk. Zeus is like completely online, he's dealing a good amount of damage. Would love to see some armor penetration, maybe against like three tanky, tankier champions. <sighs> Again, like owner, he's a Lee Sin, right? His like time is kind of over. I mean, the Sunded Sky carries him now, right? That item is cranked, cranked, cracked, whatever. Talking about the Spear Shojin, Faker now has acquired it. So that's at least something. Guma now has like acquired some more items, but Lethality Senna, like Lethality Senna, hello, it is the 35th minute. What? What is Zeus doing? He's TPing into the mid lane. What? Are, uh, hello? I need I need some context for that play. I, I like I I need a lot of context for that play. Why are we TPing? Like why is Zeus TPing into melee range of a Nautilus Jax? Faker tries to get away, so he just will be there, seeing his base burn down to pieces. Uh. What the hell? Okay, maybe they're leaving us. Okay. Okay, Guma's response Faker maybe is enough wave clear. They don't have Baron, I guess. Uh, but sh what, man? What am I? Okay, please show me the context. What? What is the play? Where's the follow up? What are you doing? What are you doing? I, I need to go back. Wait a second. Okay, so that's the Zeus part. Now I look onto Guma. Guma is running through the Azir turret. Oh no! What is this? Nah! Nah! They just run at the north. What is this? This is even worse than my fucking ARAM games. No! No! My god, he runs into a fucking Azir turret. So far, you see in the zero one in Seeing the Nautilus, right? What is he going to do? He's going to do what he has been doing for fucking in the last hour. He's going to press his cooldowns onto you. He's going to make you go up into the air under the Azitur. You're going to melt like paper. Oh. I mean, again, I assume they didn't know Doran was there. But again, is the idea to go onto the light to TP into darkness? I mean, now it's just, I mean, it's like we're getting caught. I mean, it's like, okay, why are we all the way up there? We have no vision. Okay, now we are fighting for the vision. But why aren't we using tools like the Destiny? Why aren't we using Faker's, uh, what is it? Gr not green, that's blue. Blue trinket to scout for vision. No, we're not doing any of that. We're just running around. It's like, man, the coordination of this team sometimes is just so good. And at other times, it's like you, you wonder if they're like even talking. I mean, it's not it's not even coordination in terms of like you go there, I go there, right? It's just like, like I think it's just tilt at this point, right? Because this is just like if you're like tilted, you're not thinking clearly. But maybe I'm just also like just not respectful of Hangwa Life making crazy picks. But it's like if you have tools to not get picked, then I think it's on you to if you are getting picked. 
so far, right, you you might think, okay, it's good, right? Oh, we, we've, we've not lost yet. Look at the turret HP. It's slowly, slowly, slowly going down. Next waves are arriving. And yeah, that's a play there. Flash in. Like nicely done by Zekel. But at this point, it's uh, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, shooting fish in a barrel is, I think, the, the phrasing. And uh, as much as pays me to say, it looks like we're getting a quick one. A quick 3 year. Quick 3-0 in our guts. Yeah, that is depressing. Jeez, uh, that is very depressing. Good, uh, good thing there is the losers bracket. Uh, ah, yeah, like if we're not. Oh, God, if we're fighting against this like DK from yesterday, this will be tough. But I mean, maybe we have the chance for a reverse sweep. But I don't know, man. Like these guys, look at them. They're they're so fucking tilted. I mean, Faker looks pretty angry. I, I would be too. Right again. Like most damage in his team this time, not in the entire game. It's like Viper gets like. F I mean, this game was. I mean, it, there was so much potential to be had here, but the game was just like kind of lost at like like 15 minutes, I think it was. Or was it? No, they don't show the the, the, the dragon takes right. First dragon, we get the dragon. We give over two kills to Zeko, and from that point onward, we were already. I think we, as viewers, and T1 themselves. New, okay, now we need to make stuff happen and they were maybe a bit too over eager and also maybe a bit too scared uh, To make plays happen, right? We all play the top lane dives here and there, but it's like I Think that's one of the very few positives of this uh, of this game and uh, You might ask yourself, okay, like why do you say we got stomped, right? It's like 35th minute game uh, Yeah, that's because the enemy team is still Zeri uh, and Azir, right? Like even if we uh, if we are behind, even if we're in a losing situation, uh, like they will still need some items. They will still need some time. And uh, yeah, I mean this one also was pretty glorious, right? We we had the potential to come back. I mean this was uh, a much needed series of plays to uh, like drag us back to even footing, right? We're behind like four thousand gold at this point already versus the Zeri. And yeah, the problem is like if you kill the Zeri, she's not losing gold, right? Uh, and uh, here I just noticed, uh, yeah, obviously if he twisted fate, TP is in with his ult. He has vision from his ult. He popped his ult, saw the jacks, and thought that's the play. I, I mean, I, that play is just, I mean, I mean, maybe we can't joke about this, but like, like in the Vietnamese league, like 30 something players were proven for match fixing. This shit looked so weird. They just really walked into that. Maybe it was, uh, yeah, maybe Hangwa Life, man, they're, they're a bank, right? Hangwa Banking or something. Maybe they really put some good money onto our brothers. Maybe, I mean, that's not fair. Just buy yourself something good. Anyway, g game number three. Are we ready for the reverse sweep? Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, T1 fighting. It is. And we go into game number three. Uh, yeah, we changed everything. Game number one, we were like, okay, close. Let's readjust a bit. Game number two, we were like, okay, fuck. Everything went to hell. Let's change everything up. And the only thing that stays the same is the light is going to press R. And Guma, or Faker, is going up. And uh, let's hope that he's coming down again. We are just going hyper in. Carrier got the rumble, right? That's a very contested pick right now. You obviously know that. So, yeah, let's just hope that uh, something gets done with that. Guma, no, I think uh, Callister should only be locked in as a support champion. And, yeah, I mean, we can talk about every matchup. Should probably expect, uh, like, simple things from them. I don't think, uh, like, I don't even know, man. We, we can talk about the draft maybe as the game progresses. Let's just hope that our boys, like, keep their heads in the game and have the mentality uh, for the reverse sweep, which is, like, as much as we can praise everything about T1, their their, their minds, their mentality, uh, set in not one of these. Okay. Now the cat has joined me. It's my social... Oh, cat, what's gone? Yeah. <sighs> Even the cat doesn't believe in T1 anymore. Now it's bad. Now you know it's really bad. Again, here owner and peanut invading, but uh, owner, I don't know if you've checked the locality. I mean, he gets the first blood, first first blood for T1 in the series so far, so that's at least a positive. 
Zeka gets the assist, so I guess more gold traded over for Hangul Life. Okay. That's at least something. Uh, both AD carries get the kills, so that's positive. In the meantime, Owner collects the Grabby, so we're uh, also, uh, at least on the safer side, what the neutral objectives uh, like, depend on. What is this? Regardless, due to the fact that obviously now uh, we're not losing the first dragon as well, actually, uh, Owner is on the way there. Have, like, I mean, at even stayed in mid. Okay, we're zoning our enemies away, but now owner, does he get into trouble for this? Let's hope not. Carrier. Oh, minion blocks everything. Or rather blocks the light's hook. That's good. Viper has to... Viper? Zeka has to flash away. So overall, uh, a relatively positive set of offense. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carrier, what is going on? Please, please believe. Okay, nice. Two for one, and I mean, some minions also denied. Let's call that a win. Owner, be careful. They have red buff, they have the hook. Owner, 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 hello. Like, Puma can't help you. Okay, Viper getting roasted. He flashes in. Uh, with the fate's call, and it's just, it's just not enough. Guma, though, is... Bro, that was a lot of damage. I guess it's stacked turret? No, maybe not. Oh, there's a TP. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Zeka TP'd into bot and then Weaver's wall, uh, like, altered in. Okay, crazy stuff happening here. Left, right, and center. Faker also with the TP, getting hit by the... And now he has to force all the way. Yeah, uh... I just... I have very little words. We lose a play potentially here as well. Just overall, not the best of plays, right? One for one overall, while we lose so much, and now Guma has to be careful, right? Uh, 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 yeah. Again, I'm not ta I, like we're not talking about the we're not talking about drafts. We're not talking about champions uh, that want to dash pick being like pick and drafted with Talia being a champion that is favorable in the meta right now. Okay, Faker face checking, has to flash away, he has not much more, and yeah, he will just be auto attacked to death. And Guma is. Yeah. Okay, owner uh, is like trying his best. Oh, come on, that one auto was not enough. Uh, just pure despair, just pure despair and misery. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just completely crazy, right? It's like one after the other. They enter the fight and just getting slaughtered, right? Rumble did some like meaningful damage, but it's, it's crazy. I mean, this game just looks so depressing, no? Just a bit more damage, and I mean, where's Zeus? Somewhere else, Faker gets hooked, gets, I mean... Is Nautilus just OP or what? <laughs> the light is crazy, but like, what is this Nautilus champion? He does so much damage relatively to his tankiness. He is so tanky, he's immortal, right? And, like, I mean, the CC that motherfucker offers is just crazy. Jeez, man, we're getting hooked left and right, man. The light is just popping off, man. But, like, look at this. Like, how do we win this, right? We're, like, so far relatively behind. Doran is already there. Look, Zeos is not even in the same game yet. Okay. Okay, now that's something. Faker dashes over the stones, get immediately rooted. Oh my god, yeah, let's pick more dashing champions into Talia. It's like, I don't get it, man. You're playing even more league than I am. And you're, you're still just thinking that's okay? Like, I hate my life even more than regularly when I have to play, like, Irelia or something like that into Talia. And, like, they are playing, like, Kalista, Ari, Jax. I don't think, uh, like, uh, what is it, Rek'Sai has any issues with the rocks, but, uh, I mean, yeah, she's a creature of the earth, so probably not that effective against her, but... 
Like all of our brothers are wanting to dash around. It's like Talia. Eh? And like let's not act like Talia is a, a niche counter pick. Like huh? Have? have you watched the last series? Have you watched LCK in the last years? It's like Talia is super popular, especially as an answer to our like main champions. We just get grabbed and like thrown around. Like how are we supposed to fight them afterwards, right? It's like, it's like, uh, I don't know, man. It's like, we give Hango Life a handshake and like they break our hand. <laughs> and then afterwards we're told we have to fight that guy in like UFC style fighting or something like that. That's uh, that's how this game has been going so far, right? So they've beaten us to the punch before like, like actual team fights have really started. And it's like, he goes in 1v3, 1v4. It's like, I mean, maybe the call is like, go in, do something, right? Fakers on top. Okay, but it's like, hey, it's just pure despair and pain, man. What are we watching here? Okay, uh, let's change the narrative. Are you guys uh, trusting in the uh, lower bracket run? Lower bracket run, anyone? I mean, like anything right now in the game is just irrelevant, right? No? Like, anything short of a miracle play or something like that, it's like unforeseeable, is uh, yeah, just not enough. The enemy comp, especially from ahead, is just scary to play into. Our champions from behind are scarily weak. It's like, okay, equalizer onto the... Like, the light has not taken any damage. Like, look at this HP bar. He stood on the equalizer. Now he presses R and it's like, yeah, Faker just burns down. Owner, I mean, that's nice value there, but... No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Again, this is like short to a miracle, right? We actually like get two kills. Uh, but... Uh, like, look at this. It's like, they just walk in and just slap off in the face and just... Uh, I don't know what to say. That's not... Uh, yeah, ban worthy at this point. So, here, everyone jumps. Like, bro, Faker just gets completely one shot. Like, I mean, here, Owner and Zeus, right? They're disrespected so much that, like, they just completely leave them alone with the backline, but it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, Zeka and Doran are just more than enough. Even Peanut, right now, with his, like, two and a half items, like, too much to deal with. I mean, Doran only has two items. Like, Zeka has only two items. Zyper has only two items. These motherfuckers are getting stronger and stronger. Similar story could be said for us, but uh, yeah, that's uh, maybe a bit naive, no? This uh, is a lethality. Lethality Kalissa actually getting stronger? No. No. Uh, okay, that was a cute little play there, but uh, again, it's like they are actually fucking good, but that was a neat little play. Uh, trading in a turret there uh, versus Baron buff, that's pretty impressive. And uh, getting another like kill, right, which is a bounty, right? The, the trait of a support for top laner at this point is obviously completely irrelevant. Oh, no, 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 the Rek'Sai is an endangered species, I guess. We're getting a soul point, but we're losing our top lane inhibitor, I would assume, right? Carry has no ult, doesn't matter Baron minions anyway. I mean, that's, I think, uh, decently worthwhile. It's worth something, right? This is at least now a Drake that is worth something. The one here are rushing in for a play onto Zokka. Faker chunks him out, half HP, flash also used. But now can we defend our base? Hello, 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 help. Oh my god, owner is supposed to be tanky? Supposed to be sturdy? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, at least they leave our base with just uh, a bit of demolition, right? And not complete wrecking crew style, demolishing everything that we stand for. 2.5k Baron power play, that is uh, 8,000 gold deficit. Rough. But at least we have a soul that we can put all our hopes in. Like, maybe, let's not be too negative, maybe there is a way we can come back. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. Ultimate comes down. Ult for ult trade, I guess. Uh, oh god, no, no, no. Flash forward by Faker. But he just... Like, I I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen... Uh, wait, 
Are we winning this? Oh man, I was just already... Oh my, oh my, never mind, we're not winning this. Are we winning this? No, 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 no. Oh my god, Aatrox damage is completely stupid. Why is healing so much even though he has no healing items? I, I, I right games where, where are the answers to my questions? I mean, Zeus is two levels down, right? Uh, the, the minions. The, the minions. Uh, Zeus, the, the minions. The, the minions. Uh, the minions. Hello. Like, you can't tell me they're not win trading, right? You, you like... Zeus, that's the the, 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 the... the last Nexus to die. I mean, here, look at Faker. <laughs> this is like, in like, slow-mo, right? He just disappeared like this, like... Like, Ari, like, for all intents and purposes, right? There are some matchups that are just pure uh, cancer to play, right? And Lissandra, Annie, and... I mean, Annie is just mainly laning phase, right? Afterwards, it becomes a bit better. Uh, but Lissandra, Annie, and Talia is like, okay, yeah, good luck, have fun. Okay, now let's uh, watch this Baron speedrun. I'm sure our team can do something about it. Besides... Oh, yeah! The moment we arrive, it's already gone. I mean, there's not much to do right now. Our only hope is that we are not dying while being on the same screen as our enemies. Faker's ult forced out. That's a hook onto Zeus. Pina just right clicks. Yeah, I mean, the gold lead and champions, I guess, are speaking for themselves. We're super squishy. They're super strong. They do super much damage. And uh, yeah, we're getting 3-0, completely disrespected, completely humbled, broken and destroyed. Uh, yeah, uh, this was disgusting to witness. Maybe that's not the that's not the right um, attitude, but Jesus Christ, we got fucking destroyed. I mean, we can't say much bad about Hungwa Life, right? Like every member like looked completely on point. I mean, sure, early game they didn't draft for it. Uh, so that's like not the most impressive thing, but uh, like their map rotations, right? The coordination of Peanut and Delight as like a uh, like squad impacting the lanes, right? Defending dives in top lane uh, and like obviously like doing stuff around the neutral objectives in the river and uh, yeah, I guess river and uh, jungle, sure. Uh, that was just wild. And uh, yeah, I mean, Zeka especially, I mean, he got some praise by the commentators for his Azir games. I think he was just like there winning more. But uh, yeah, especially the Talia. Like, the drafts speak for themselves. Like, I can't believe how that's always happening. Like, he gets three games of, of Nautilus. Like, hello? How do we look at all these three games now? One by one, one by one, one by one. And it's like, ah, yeah, let's give this guy Nautilus again. And again. And again. Crazy. I mean, the drafting got worse as the series progressed, which is crazy to think about. But makes sense, right? You go into the series, you expect a certain type of meta, of gameplay, and then things change. So, uh, yeah, the adaptation might not have been all too crisp. Here at the start, here we see like basic T1 style. Pick a roaming mid laner and like four man, three man bot. But hey, the enemy team has a global TP style ultimate in their uh, Talia. Also, Talia and Nautilus have tons of CC effective versus our champions. And as such, like these dives are horrid. Uh, and I mean, like, <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. Like, it's it's not only Hangwa Life, it's not anyone, right? Look at the player names, right? Sure. Like, they are not world champions, but oh, some of them actually are, or rather, are close to that. I mean, that's just, they're not anyone, right? And if they are on a good day, we are like scrambling, losing confidence, downgrading in our drafts, giving them effective counter picks to our champions and team identities. It's just not playable. And I mean, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, we lose our undefeated streaks on some champions. We lose the series 3-0 in a humbling fashion. Let's just hope that uh, I, I, I should have looked at the schedule, right? Uh, like we need we need a bit of a short break and uh, we need to catch a big breath and hope that we can at least do something, man. Like down one, Kia, gaming, whatever. They looked uh, pretty good. They looked pretty competent and competitive versus Genji in their series. Um, we did not. So uh, and assuming Hunger Life is weaker than Genji, which is a basic assumption 
this just does not uh, yeah, look too good for us. So, okay, uh, lower bracket run, that's what we go for. Let's meet at the next matchup. Anyway, hope you enjoyed yourself with this pretty depressing defeat. <sighs> but anyway, we have seen worse. T1 will stand proud at the end. We will go the under dog story. We will go through the lower bracket run. Meet me there next time when it's versus D plus Kia. We will get our revenge. Versus all of these scoundrels. And then at the end, we will come out on top. But uh, yeah, that's not today. That's tomorrow. Or rather next time. So see you there. Bye bye.